Now that we created the machine and the background, next step is to create the tubes. The tubes that the balls are passing through. Let's do that by adding a new object. Um, what should we add? Helix looks good. We can use Helix. Again, hold Shift plus Option here to create the object equally proportioned on all sides. Alright, now let's switch to right. Rotate it, maybe 90 degrees? We can also give 90 exactly to this field. Reset the camera again. Wait, it isn't changed? Is it Y? Let me Command Z to redo. Okay, we should give zero then. Also increase the thickness by increasing the path radius here. You can see the change when I play it. Around this value is fine. All right, let's also lock this rectangle just like the machine. Also, don't forget to lock the light. And all I can play is the helix. Now change the perspective to top and move away from the rectangle. We can use part of this helix because we want only one tube above. So we should cut off the rest of the parts. How do we do that? Well, you can click on this smooth and edit button here and delete the points you don't want. Actually, let's just do that. Click smooth and edit. Now we need to decide which parts to remove. We should keep this part only, right? We can select and delete the parts just like this. Just select with the mouse and press backspace. Let's have a closer look. Also, remove these parts. And now we should delete the tiny pieces, the details indeed. Be careful here though, if you want your shape to be smooth. Also, let's delete these triangles and get rid of the last ones. Okay, I believe we end up here with a decent shape. Now reset the camera and exit edit mesh mode by double clicking somewhere on the canvas. And here we are, left with an object like this, just like we asked for. Rotate the object a little bit and also move it here. Also look from the top and reposition on Z direction as well. We want it to look like it's attached to the background, like it's coming from inside of it. Thus, maybe we can move it right some more. Maybe keep one side to the right. What we can do is we can push the machine back to align with the tube. Just like this, we get the pipe we wanted. Perhaps we can move it right some more. Because there will be a ball animation between them, so that the ball will be visible. Let's make the final checks. Yeah, I'm glad with the result. So we can just skip and get into the color step. I'll copy and paste the RGB value from the other project. You can, of course, create your own color palette and work with the colors you want. Here, I'll use 94, 92, 185 values again. No, that's not the color I'm wanting. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm checking. Okay. Okay. We want to use 31, 30, 69. Sorry for that. Now we can say the pipe is finished. It's possible to make it better by playing with the material. However, I prefer not to waste time with that. It's already looking nice.